the Autopilot Flight Director System AFDS, is located on the main instrument panel. There are two identical units, one of the captain's side and one on the first officer's side. This specific one is from Flying Gravity. Flying Gravity makes two types, one with a cover plate and one without. The one I will be installing today is without cover plate because my MIP, which is also from Flying Gravity, has already a pre-installed plate. It seems a strong built unit. What I find a little disappointing is the fact that it doesn't even come with mounting screws. Sometimes are the little things that makes a company stand out in my opinion. Before we jump into the hardware installation, there are two documents that would be really useful to have. First one is the CP Flight manual. This is the manual for uh, the CP Flight board. I have this one already installed because most of my radios and MCP, they're all from uh, CP Flight and uh, every, pretty much every single LED is connected to, to this board. Here, go to page 2 of this document and on the right side you get all the information that precisely tells you where you need to install each cable. The other document that you will need, although it's not really mandatory that you have this, is the flying gravity manual for the EFDS. And I have this for the very simple reason that at the back, uh, at the back of the hardware, here you see this green part here, every single connection is labeled. However, on the, on the hardware itself, some of the labelings are covered by soldering that the company did. So this will uh, allow me to be sure that I put the cable in the right place. We know where the AFDS is going to be installed. So let's go at the back of the simulator now. This is, this is where it's going to come out and the cables are going to be going from here to the MCP card. So the first thing that I want to do before I put in any hardware is to figure out how long the cables need to go. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to basically start from here and then probably connect them to uh, some of the existing ones coming down, coming down here, down here under and here and then I, I allow a little bit extra to make sure that I'm not too tight. So it's gonna be something like this. I'm gonna go up here, then here, probably well through the other side, but coming down here, a little bit here, down here. And back to the card. And just to be sure, we had this much extra. Now that we have all the cables we need, we start stripping the ends from both sides. There are 17 cables needed. Four of them are going to the power supply, and 13 of them are going to the CP flight board. I'm going to first do the 13 and then I'll connect them all together. Uh, I'll tie them together and then the other four I'll tie them separately because the power supply is in a different place than the, uh, than the CP card. But what I'm also going to do is using the uh, CP flight manual I'm going to label each cable because when I go down at the back of the cockpit it's going to be a nightmare with all those cables to run them through and figure out where each cable is going to be, uh, where each cable needs to go. Okay, we're going to start with a test which are the from if you sit in front of the card are the first three on the left side. And you have a com, an up and a down. According to the flying gravity manual, the down goes to switch input number 25. So first I'm connecting the cable at the back of the card. Then 
just like that and then the other side I'll just put a label on it and I write S for switch 25 now the, re the reason why I write S is because the CP flight card if you can see it here there are some numbers that are repeated there is 14 on this side and there is 14 on this side but these are all for LEDs and these are all for switches so it's important that you know the difference when you go back to the card next we're going to wire the up Now, if you look, this is the flying gravity document. I have it on my monitor. This is the first one I just wired was the down and goes to input 25. Now I'm wiring the second one that says up, follow the arrow, goes to input 24. And as you can see, also says switch, and that's why I put S. So next label is, we said S24. All cables are connected and divided. 17 cables, all four switches and LEDs, and four cables, they're all for uh, power. Two to the positive and two to the ground. I've used zip ties to keep it together and in, in tight. And here is the well, I wouldn't call it so big mess, but all the labels. This way will be much easier when I go on the CP card to connect it to it. Now, next step is to actually mount the AFTS to the cockpit, to the middle. And that goes here. Being careful that we're not going to... And that's going to be mounted with four screws. Okay, I'm going to start new wiring first the 17 cables so those are the LEDs and the switches this is the CP fly card well for you it's upside down but this side here is for LEDs this side here is for switches so we take the first cable and this is a S26 so it's a switch 26 and that would be very difficult for you to look, but it would be the very last one here. Now, if one of these connections would be taken, then you know that you made a mistake somewhere. However, there is a couple of them that takes more than one cable, and those are the common cathode for the LEDs. One of the little legs of the little, uh, one of the legs of the little LEDs, they all get connected together. Next one says LED 15. So this is the LED side. We're looking for 15, and that's 15 right 
here. We tighten it. Here we go. Now we got the power. And the power goes here. Okay, so we have two positives. and connect them in the same place and hope that I find the score driver okay. okay now we get the two grounds Do the same thing here. We're going to connect them together. And plug them in the ground connection. Now that's it. All is left is tested. Ideally, if we switch now the power unit on, we should already see the backlight coming up. And there it is. You see the orange backlight. Okay, testing time. This is the front side. You can see the backlight, although. I must admit, I'm not really happy with the backlight because it illuminates the FMC button, this one here, orange. And I'm, I don't think that that, that, is, that is right. So I'm either gonna, from the back side, uh, obstruct the light so that the only thing illuminated is going to be uh, the text. Or... I'm just going to remove the, uh, the electrical cables that power the backlight altogether. I don't really think it needs it. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, so the test, up test, check, and check. As you can see the up test, the autopilot and auto throttle disconnect are red and the FMC is always amber. The down test, they're all three amber. If I disconnect the auto throttle, you can see on my MCP is flashing, and there also. I assume that's what it's supposed to be doing. So you take it back, and if I disconnect the autopilot, the autopilot disconnect flashes. And if I press it here, the sound goes away and I can just reset it here and we're flying. Now that was it. I'm going to make uh, for probably next week a very quick video about uh, the power unit and how to figure out which cable is the positive and the negative. If anybody out there it's like me that doesn't have any clue or any knowledge about electricity that may turns out to be very helpful so until then stay tuned thank you very much to the next one bye bye